Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of a recruitment management template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. The employees are the lifeblood of any company, and the hiring process is a way to keep the workforce refreshed and thriving. This template would greatly help in that process. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. We start in the recruitment database sheet. It's here where we input the company standards when it comes to the hiring process. We input the job level, application source, reasons for rejection, job type, locations, and pipeline stages. The application status column is pre-made and locked for editing. Moving to the jobs datasheet, we input the different jobs that the company is offering. Do note to only put data into white cells because the grayed out cells contain automated formulas. You start in the sheet by assigning a job code for the job opening, the department, the hiring manager, job title, job level, gender, job type, vacant number, location, job posting date, the running number to be hired, the job status, closing date, hiring cost, and any other comments about the position. To add a new entry, simply follow the job arrow at the bottom and enter the data there. Moving on to the application's datasheet, select the available jobs from the drop-down list. If you wish to see the job details further, click the plus sign on top. Input other details like the recruiter name, the candidate, application source, application date, and the last recruitment stage that the applicant made it to. Once the hiring process is done, input the final decisions using the drop-down. If the applicant is rejected, input the reasons as to why. Input the decision date and the joining date. If you want to see more fields for additional comments, click the plus sign at the top. In the Candidates Report tab, we have an overview of the different applicants with the different stages that they're in. The decision, rejection reasons, decision dates, joining dates, HR comments, and technical comments. You can edit the information that you see using the slicers on top. You can filter by department, job status, and available jobs. It also gives you some quick stats such as the available vacants, total applications, accepted, shortlisted, in process, and rejected. Moving on to the candidates information sheet, you input here all the candidates you want to keep on file. Input their name, attach a hyperlink to their CV by right-clicking the cell, clicking insert link, then selecting the corresponding file. Plug in experience field, date of birth, gender, phone number, address, and email address as well. Lastly, we have the recruitment dashboard. It shows the aggregates of your data, which includes total jobs, total hiring costs, and days in market. You can also see how many individuals are in the different stages of the recruitment pipeline and see a summary of the different rejection reasons. It also gives you some stats such as percentage rates for acceptance, shortlisted, in process, and rejected. We also have graphs for the required hire areas versus the hired areas, a graph showing the different jobs and the number of hired versus the number left to hire, as well as a summary of the application sources on a pie chart. Again, you have some dynamic slicers to change what shows on the charts. You can filter by department, job status, job type, application source, applications, department, and job posting date. For both the recruitment dashboard sheet and the candidate's report sheet, they have a refresh macro button to update the charts with new data that you enter. We also have a full screen macro button which when pressed hides the ribbon. 
If you want your ribbon back, just minimize the window and it should be right there. This template makes a gigantic task such as managing your job openings and applicants a breeze. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.